says. And Chef Tim Love comes to mind. He's getting ready to party. The fourth Food and Wine Festival's coming up. This is always a fun event. It is a great event. And uh, it kicks off Thursday with a barbecue that I'm participating in. And we're ready to get it rolling. You know? that, that's a high bar if you're doing, doing barbecue in Fort Worth. That's <laughs> There's a lot of people show up for that. Yeah, I would bet they do. I would so. bet they do. We're going to do something Italian, though, today. Yeah. A very simple dish. Very simple dish. And I think if you're at home right now, you want to take just real quick notes. This will be one of the greatest dishes you've ever made. Oh, it's yeah. very, very easy to make. Really? It's called cacio okay. e pepe. Mm -hmm. It's one of the hardest dishes to make, yet it's only three ingredients. So okay. I have here our ingredients. Fresh Parmesan, cracked black pepper, salt, just a little bit of butter, and some fettuccine. That sounds so, easy. Okay. Very easy. So the, very, the first thing you want to do is... You want to make sure that your water is salted properly. This is the biggest mistake people make with pasta. The no water needs to taste like the ocean. Okay. Oh, it needs to be that salty. That's right. So that's, a, really? that's a, literally the biggest mistake people make with pasta is they don't salt the water enough. Oh. Okay. That's, so when yeah. you salt your water, make sure you taste it. It should taste like the ocean, which is overly salted. Okay. Yeah. All right. Hmm. You can almost not salt the water too much. Wow. Good to know. Tim, if you'll take the pepper mill and just grind it in. So I have yep. a couple of pats of butter. We've already ground up some fresh Parmesan cheese, right? Grab okay. some fresh Parmesan cheese. You want to cover the top of that with pepper. Yep. Now, don't, don't cheap out. That's right. And then the key to this is the pasta water. Mm -hmm. So remember, we have salted water. Right. And when you cook the pasta, the starch comes out of the pasta, gets into the water. The okay. water is what's going to make your sauce. Oh, okay. All right. So just a little bit of butter. You can see it just have two pats of butter. It's not much at all. Okay. And then what we do here is we take the pasta straight out of the water. Oh, it's with going the water, right in there. With the water on it, okay? Okay. Like this. You want to make sure the water gets into the cheese, like so. And then you'll see I'm going to add a little bit more water to make the sauce like this. So Because there's the so much out. starch that's left that's right. in that water, you don't so want to throw that So we're going to sit here what we call work the pasta into the cheese. So like this. Oh, so it's yeah. a little, little tight, so we add a little bit of more pasta water. Very simple. Just like this. I'm telling you, you're going to home make this dish. This will be the best pasta you've made in really? three or four years. Oh, yeah. yeah. And people are going to say, what is in this? Right. You keep working the pasta like this. And, if you and like that's it, it. That's it. So that's it. Oh, my goodness. So what happens is the cheese melts, mm -hmm. and then the water allows the cheese to emulsify into it and create the sauce. So while it looks like it's really creamy with a bunch of butter, it's really not. And could you add, like, chicken into this or For shrimp For sure. And or I always say, like, like the spring's coming up. A nice roasted squash, some Ooh. roasted mushrooms would be beautiful with this. Okay. And that's how you adapt it, right? For me, I, wow. I add a steak to it, but that's me. <laughs> that was so easy. Okay, so the festival, the Fourth Food and Wine Festival, runs three days Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And again, you're going to be at that. Uh, Thursday night barbecue. Absolutely. Showdown. Come out and see us at the Fort Worth Food and Wine Festival. It's going to be amazing. It's almost sold out, so you definitely oh. need to get your tickets soon. Okay, there you go. You can find this recipe and a link with all the details on our website, fox4news.com.